Three games uh, in three days in New York City. I think your defense has to travel with you, and if it doesn't, you're asking for trouble. So, uh, you know, we put ourselves in a position where at least these games are meaningful. Uh, I think when it comes down to the NCAA bubble, you you know, you got to have some things fall your way with some other teams, and you got to take care of business yourself. So. Uh, we just got to continue to control what we can control, and that's uh, take one game at a time and, and see if we can't put a couple together. You spoke with Xavier during the season. Uh, how do you see this matchup? Well, obviously they're playing much better th than they than they were uh, really both times we played them. Uh, we lost a tough overtime game uh, to them at their place, uh, but you know Marshall's playing with a lot more confidence, shooting it. You know he was 28% shooter I think coming into our, our game with them at their place and. He's shot in over 40% since then. So just that in itself, uh, I think, has been a big plus. Obviously, their front line with Hankins and, and Jones is a, is a handful for us because of their physical size and strength. Uh, but we've got to try to negate that on defense and take advantage of some of the things that that brings to our offense. How do you emphasize with your guys that they have to take care of things that they can take care of, control what they control, and not worry about who's on the bubble and brackets and who's in and who's out? We've been, we've been doing it for two months, so this shouldn't be any different. Like, we haven't really talked about it uh, during the four-game losing streak, and we haven't talked about it during the five-game winning streak. We. We've taken care of business on the practice floor. We've taken care of our bodies, uh, and, and, I, and I think we're in a good space. I think our guys feel good, uh, but we haven't talked about any of that as a team. We're just taking it a day at a time. Najee, and how much of an impact has that made in their turnaround? Well, it's made a huge impact. You know, he's he's you know you could argue he's played as well as anybody in the league the last five or six games. And you know, I think the confidence that gives to their entire team that you have a go-to guy that can go get a basket for you. And unfortunately for us, that kind of all started in our game. He had a big three in the corner, he had a big 15-footer, um, you know, at, at a critical junction in overtime. So, uh, you know, we've got to try to slow him down, but they've got plenty of other pieces to go with him. But you know, it's basketball and sports in general is a it's a game of confidence. And you know, when things aren't going well, it's easy for that to snowball. And when you turn things around for the better, it's easy easy for that to go in a positive direction with how your, your whole team's mojo is. And that's certainly been the case with Xavier. When your team was struggling going through that losing streak, I think a couple times you might have said, you, know, you got as a coach, you had to find the right balance between getting after them and then also building them up. And it seemed like, maybe I'm wrong here, but it seemed like you took the tact of building them up more than the other. Is that accurate during the, those? Yeah, I think when you have a young team, yeah, that's a that's a that's a really fine line that you walk. I think if if I had a veteran team, uh, you could maybe be a little harder on them when things aren't going well. Uh, but when it's a younger team, I think I think your responsibility is to teach and 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 not make sure you don't impact their confidence at the same time. So uh, you know, we got through that stretch, and I'd like to think that they're. It's hard to tell. Uh, the day after a game in our practice, whether we won or lost the night before. That's the way I try to approach it the best I can. Uh, that's not easy because human nature, obviously, the, the win or loss impacts me as well. But uh, I think the better job as a coach you can do that, the, the easier it is for your team to stay relatively even keel and approach the next practice like you approached any practice. And uh, to our guys' credit, they've done a good job of that. With the way that this Big East schedule has played out the last couple weeks, a few weeks, I mean, what is your confidence level that this group can can do what any of those teams can do and get out there and get three wins? Well, you know, we, we've gone three and seven without either DJ or Marcus or both, and we've gone whatever's that left. My, Rob, 15 and six, I guess, on the season uh, when we've had that group together. Uh, so, you know, that's, you know, I think our guys are confident because everybody's there, everybody's available. Our practices have been more competitive and. You know, let's not forget, we, we opened conference play with four road games against the teams that were picked third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and two home games against the teams picked first and second. That was as tough as you could ask for for a start. We knew the back half of the schedule would be to our favor. Then we lose Marcus Zigorowski in the middle of that. So we've rebounded from that pretty well, and uh, the guys have stuck to it. And, you know, I couldn't be more proud of where the, the position that they put us in. You mentioned Marcus. Do you feel like Martin got snubbed a bit in terms of where he finished up and all these? When you, you know, sometimes that stuff, first and second team all conference, part of it's based on reputation kind of going into the season. And then as long as that person somewhat lives up to that, uh, they end up on that on that first team. And, and 
you know, when you look deeper into the st statistics, you know, the guy shot 60% from the field and 17 points a game and, and you know, eight rebounds a game. I think he, he ties the league lead uh, for double doubles. So, you know, I, I think he deserves to be on, on either the first or second team, but I, I also can't say that anybody that's on there doesn't deserve it. So there's a lot of good players in our league, and most of them are young, and that, that bodes well for the Big East in the future. What about Marcus's honor getting freshman team? Yeah, very well deserved. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's been obvious to anybody that understands basketball the impact that he has on our team. Uh, there's just a calmness about what we're doing out there when he's on the floor even when he's not having a good shooting night, which he hasn't the last two games, but he impacts the game in other ways. So, you know, I'm really excited about his future and, and couldn't be more proud of what he's accomplished his, this season. His toughness too, to play through what he's been through. Off, off the charts. Uh, you know, if he'd have had his way, he'd have rubbed a little dirt on it when it happened and gone right back out there and forget, forget the surgery and the cast and everything that goes with it. But, you know, that's that's how he's made up. You know, his, his parents are basketball people. They're a very tough-minded, hard-nosed family. And, uh, you know, he brings those characteristics to our team. And I, I don't think there's any question that, you know, his, his toughness and the way he approaches a game has had an impact on his teammates. And you can't often say that about a freshman. Hey, Tom mentioned uh, conversations you had with him about finding ways to impact the game other than scoring once he got into Big East play because it would not be as easy as it was in the non-conference. What were those conversations like and how has he adapted his game to be more impactful despite maybe the scoring taking a different kind of prophetic, wasn't it? I was able to come up with that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's you know he, he had never been a marked man before at this level. So, uh, you know, trying to trying to explain to someone uh, what that's going to be like is very difficult. So you, you don't want him to be hesitant. You don't want him to be afraid of, of what's coming. Uh, but you also want to prepare him, okay, if, if they're going to take you away, if they're going to throw a, a marshal on you at 6-7 and not leave you, what other ways can you impact the game? You know, you can rebound, you can defend, you can make an extra pass to a teammate instead of taking a tough shot. And that's something that young players have to learn. And, and this has certainly been a learning and growing process for him to go through this. Uh, and I think he'll be better of it, better because of it moving forward. All right, thanks, thanks gentlemen. Thanks. Hey, uh, you were named the all-freshman team. Tell me what that means to you. I mean, it, I mean, it was nice, you know. Um, I mean, you know, I, I work hard, but um, you know, my main goal is for us to just get wins. You know, that, that's that's what I'm worried about. You know, I'm kind of p past that, you know, stage of individual awards. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm big on team team awards, team awards, and, and that's a Big East championship. What's this year meant to you? Oh, a whole lot. You know, I've learned so much. You know, there's been ups and downs, but you know, I've I've grown so much on and off the court. You know, great teammates, great coaching staff, you know, great school. So you know. My first year of college, you know, has gone, you know, really smooth. And, uh, you know, there's been, I mean, injuries, obviously, you know, there's been been some bumps. But for the most part, you know, I love these guys. You know, I love coming in here every every single day, competing, you know, just enjoying my time with these, with my teammates and my coaches. How's life on the bubble treating you guys as players right now? I mean, we're not, we're not really worried about that. You know, we're just worried about, you know, you know, getting better day in and day out, you know, just trying to, you know, put ourselves in position to be successful versus, you know, our next task, and that's Xavier. So, I mean, that, that's our focus right now, and we're taking it one, one game at a time. But fans and media, I mean, we, we're saying, God, if they can win two, they're in. Do you guys talk like that? I mean, no, I mean, obviously, you know, that's, you know, that's for the coaches to worry about. You know, us players, all, all we got to do is come in, come in in here, block all the noise out, and just work hard, mm -hmm. you, know, uh, for, for, you know, for each other, you know, for our fans, for our coaches. You know, that's, that's what it's about, you know, just coming in, working hard day in, day out, and, uh, you know, we're, we'll live with the results, whatever happens, but, you know, Let's just let's just work hard and, and see see what uh, leads us. What, did, what do you like about the matchup with Xavier? Oh, I mean it's a great. Uh, it's a, I mean Xavier's a really good team. They're number four in our league. You know they're very strong. You know big guards. You know, they play tough basketball. So I mean we have our hands full. You know we're one on one on them on the season. So uh, we'll see what happens in the biggest tournament. You know I'm I'm excited to play against them. You know, you know our coaches are doing a great job of, of preparing us. As a player, I mean, do you watch? I mean, you grow up watching the Big East tournament. I mean. The, the rep the reputation of it being at Madison Square Garden. I mean, what what are your expectations for for this the first time around? Yeah, I mean it's crazy. I was just thinking about it last night. Um, so my my brother played in the Big East tournament, and uh, his sophomore year they almost won it. They were up 20 on Louisville, and uh, I was in the eighth grade, no, seventh or eighth. Yeah, one of the grades. And I, I actually had a championship game that day and I lost. 
you know, refs cheated, so uh, I was pissed off. So then we <laughs> cheated. Yeah, oh, big time. He fouled me over four fouls. <laughs> so then uh, we lose, and I'm pissed off. I'm really, um, I was, uh, I was sore losing. I was younger, and then uh, I find out my brother's up 20, and they lose. So that was tough for me. But it was, I mean, it's just you know crazy how you know things fall, things are you know come around. And now I'm playing in the biggest tournament. You know, my parents come are, are coming to see me. So I mean, it's a, uh, I'm excited. What about playing in the garden? Yeah, I'm ex yeah, I'm excited. You know, that's the, probably the, you know, I mean, there's been what Muhammad Ali phrase. I mean, there's been there's been crazy sports uh, sports games there in Madison Square at Madison Square Garden. So I'm excited, you know. But all in all, I mean, I'm just focused on you know trying to get the win. You know, just don't don't just block out all the noise. You know, don't think too high, don't think too low, and just just go in there, have fun, and just play, and I'll li and I'll live with the results. Two more. Coach, uh, Coach McDonough talked about you. Your expectations for you were off the charts this season. You exceeded every, all, the, all his expectations. What about you? What did you expect? I mean, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't like to put you know, you know, expectations on myself. You know, I, I just go in, work hard, and just and just try to you know get the job done for my teammates. You know, winning trumps winning trumps everything. I'm all about winning. You know, that's all I really care about. So you know, I'm I'm happy we're the five seed. You know, I'm happy. You know, we kind of. You know, we were what, ranked ninth preseason to, uh, to come to the Big East, so that's that was a goal of mine. You know, just to, you know, f try try and you know prove 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 the doubt is wrong and you know get wins. So you know, I'm I'm real happy with this uh, with this year so far, but you know, we're not done yet. We're not close to done. Have you uh, played in the Garden before? No, I mean I played where the Celtics played before, but uh, not the not New York. So, not um, New York. Yeah, have I you mean, been there? Yeah, I've been there many times. Yeah. You know, I've been, I actually went there. Last time I was there was the Big East uh, Freshman Fundamentals. So, you know, we toured that uh, that whole arena, and uh, it was crazy. So, you know, I'm excited. But what did you do Saturday? Did you change your routine? Why why was Saturday such a special night? I don't know. I just did the same things, same things I usually do. Uh, ate the same food, um, but I don't know. The shots just started falling. Have you it's heard good. from anybody who's like out of the ordinary after that game, or is just your typical hey great game type thing? Uh, not really anybody out of the ordinary. Yeah. I mean, more of just my friends and yeah. family. And uh, Taz texted me, and so he's cool. goofy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we just talked, Marcus and them. So just old, like our last year, my last year teammates and everything. Yeah. But no, no one really out of the ordinary. How do you bottle that? I mean, obviously, if you knew, you'd you'd be, you know, you would. But how how do you how do you carry that over and, and maybe try to carry it over into the Big East tournament? Yeah, obviously. Uh, shooting the ball well at the end of the season. I mean, for the last game, and it's big time. But it's just honestly, the games in the past. Uh, I mean, the game before I was two for ten. So, and two for ten, and maybe eleven for twelve. So then it's just like, it's just basketball. It's how it is. So hopefully, I can just be, meet somewhere in the middle in the mm -hmm. Big East tournament and going forward, and I'll, I'll be happy with it. So just keep shooting and on to the next game. We talk about you guys being on the bubble. You guys need to win one or two or whatever. Do you, What's your take on that? How many do you need to win to get into the tournament? Uh, I don't even – honestly, I haven't looked at any of the bubble stuff. I haven't <laughs> looked at anything. After we lost four in a row, we just tried to figure out how do we get back on a winning streak. And uh, now that we're taking care of uh, things on both ends of the floor, uh, mostly on the defensive end, and hopefully our shots start falling, and we'll pick up that slack on the offensive end and just get, get the ball rolling. But obviously, we want to win the Big East tournament no matter what. Not just, not just to get into the tournament, but we also want to win the Big East tournament just for – I'm enjoying that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't really look at all the bubble stuff. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can just win the Big East tournament and be an automatic bid. What about Xavier? You split with them during the season. Just your thoughts on that matchup? Uh, obviously, last game was rough. Uh, I had a bad turnover late, and that forced the overtime. So just with that in the back of my mind, obviously we, we think we could have swept the season. Uh, but we didn't. So it's going to be kind of like a little revenge game. like a lot of games are in the Big East, you know, everybody's beating everybody, so we just want to come out and do what we did uh, at our place. We executed the game plan really well, and then we just did what we had to do to win, so hopefully we can do that in, in the Garden. The talk, go ahead. I was going to say, what's, what's the confidence level for you guys now going in, five straight wins, knowing that, that you know, you need to win three games, but feeling like now the way you're playing that you can win three games, I mean, how, how, how much does that help you guys going into this weekend? Yeah, I mean, honestly, before we started the five-game win streak, we, we always thought we had a chance uh, just because everybody's beating everybody, like I said. And now, obviously, we have that confidence, and we actually believe, like you said, we believe we can do that. And uh, we're not really looking towards the second or third game. We're just hopefully focusing on uh, the Xavier matchup and what we have to do to win the game so we can advance and 
continue our season for our seniors and for all of us, honestly. Uh, but it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be fun to, fun to get out there and be back in the garden. We talked to Marcus about this will be his first time at the garden. What what's special about Madison Square Garden being on the court in that arena? Uh, honestly, I just listened to what everybody else told me from last year. Like obviously the elevator going up, like that's historical and all that. They give the history and everything when you're going up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, those guys will enjoy that for sure. And then uh, I think the first time we had shoot around like in the middle of the day, and I just walked out and I was just like, like that's really the garden. Like we're, I'm playing, I'm shooting in the garden. So it's like it's just and it's still surreal, like unbelievable for me. But for those freshmen doing it for the first time, I just remember my feelings going back uh, a year ago and just just crazy. And then obviously they talk about like the dark background and all that but when you're outside I mean I was outside when I was like 15 years old and you look in and now I'm actually playing in it so for those guys it'll probably be a similar similar mindset just because I mean they're basketball guys they're they're gurus and playing in one of the most famous arenas ever is it's pretty cool so hopefully they can just live it up and then come back to like reality when the game starts and then we can get after it like it's just another court like it's a CC or Century Link or two more you uh that has to help you going in. Like, you know what to expect. You've played there. And I don't want to say it's old hat because it's still special, but maybe taking the element of the unknown out of it has got to be beneficial for you personally, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the first time, like I said, I was a little starstruck. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was just like, like this is like the ultimate dream for a young kid mm -hmm. playing basketball. But now uh, there's just a bigger goal. Uh, obviously, we want to play in the next week, the week after that, and then keep hopefully keep playing. But... We just have to take care of business the first game, and hopefully, me doing it one time, and like Tyshawn and those guys, mm -hmm. like, and even like Dan, this is his first time in the garden, and Cash, like, mm -hmm. it's just it's just a new scene. But hopefully, we can just stay stay level headed and do what we need to do to win games. What's your thought on Crumple getting snubbed on the All Big East team? He doesn't care about all that. Yeah. We don't. Yeah, we don't care about all that. <laughs> he doesn't. I think. He doesn't. I mean, we tied for Big East or er, tied for third in the Big East. I mean, we're fifth, but. Uh, matchups and all fifth that. Fifth seed, right? Yeah, fifth seed, tied for third in the Big East. Uh, if you had asked us two weeks ago if he wanted to be on the first first team Big East or third in the Big East, I'd probably say he wanted to be third in the Big East for a chance to win a Big East title before his numbers. So, exactly. hopefully, I mean, obviously, I if it was my list, I'd probably have him on the on first team. Big. But <laughs> I would say that if you weren't there. Yeah. But no, I think his. I mean, he's he's. We don't care, yeah, honestly. Yeah. And just come in and. I mean. I think we don't care. Yeah. Maybe he does, but <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think he does. But uh, he hasn't shown it. I right, mean, the same right. approach, same same. Just pick me up spirit. You know, he's not down about it. And honestly, I didn't even know the Big East teams yeah. came out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know. <laughs>